Paul Hannigan, a man synonymous with Yorkshire racing for many, many years, has just, after finishing fourth on our opening race here on Mackinac, announced his retirement from the sport. Not straight away, as I understand it, but on Friday, is that right? Uh, last, last race, uh, sorry, first race on Friday. Lydia is my uh, last ride for Richard Fahey, which is great. Which seems very, very appropriate. But let's talk about what... You must have been thinking about this for a while. What brought you to this decision, Paul? Yeah, I think... Well, I think a lot of professional sportsmen do. They, it's such a hard thing to, to let go, I think. Um, I've done nearly nearly three decades now uh, riding. and um, But I just I just mentioned a couple of years ago I had, um, I had a bad fall, one of the worst in my career. And I broke my back in three places and I just never quite got to, not so much the riding, it was more the fitness level, uh, trying to get back to full potential. And I think nowadays... You know, it's changed so much. The jockeys are so fit nowadays and you've got to be absolutely A1. And I, I knew myself I wasn't quite getting back to that standard. So um, I thought, now, now's the time. It must have been difficult, though, to, to actually make that decision. It's one thing to start thinking about it and having it in the back of your head, but actually to bring you to that decision. Who did you talk to to, to be able to, to come to the position you are now? Well, obviously, I talked to my wife and she was the first one because uh, she has to live with me every day. <laughs> and... Um, She's new for a while, and she's probably put up with me for a while, but um, it, it was tough, yeah. It was... Um, and, and, and the two boys who are at an age now where they, they know I wasn't riding as many winners <laughs> as I was. Um, and, and I think that's another point where, when you're at the top of, of your game, and um, it was my first season, really, as a freelance, and I really struggled. And um, I didn't really want to go out like that, so... You know, it was just, it just, it, I'm, I'm ready. You know, I was ready. Let's talk about what you've achieved in the sport. Champion apprentice and twice champion jockey. Only the third jockey in, based in the north in the 20th century to be able to actually win that title. How proud are you of and what you've achieved in your career? I'm very proud and I keep on telling my kids that, and, and any other kids that I, that I uh, speak to, that it, it can be done. You know, no matter how hard your position is or if you're going through a hard time, you know, I started with nothing, mm. and um, I say nothing. I had a lot of love and support, uh, which which went a long way, and um, it, it can be done. And um, if you work hard, if you and you really want it, then you can achieve it. You know, 2002, I was champion apprentice, and I thought, well, how did that happen? You know, and it happened because I, I, I worked very hard. And then I thought, well, just push yourself a little bit more. Why not? And um, Next behold, two times champion jockey in 2010, 2011. And um, I think if I could just give any advice, just stick at it. You know, you're going to go through some hard days. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure if you really want it, it, it can happen. Yeah. And how do you reflect on the four and a half years that you rode uh, for Sheikh Hamdan, the late Sheikh Hamdan Al Maktoum, which brought you all of those Group 1 winners, notably Mohara as well, would immediately spring to mind amongst others? Very proud, um, you know, from a, a kid from Warrington with not much racing background uh, to win a, uh, a classic winner on Tagaruda was probably um, um, among with Muraha, the highlights, uh, Mukadram winning the Eclipse and many, many more good races. Um, it's just a very proud moment for me and my family um, to be to do nearly five years with the great late Sheikh Hamdan. Um, very, very proud. I mean, you hadn't, didn't sit on a horse, did you, until you were a late teenager? Late teenager, I was late start. I, I, I had it in my mind that I was wanting to be a, a, a professional footballer. I always kept blaming my size, and it was really down to I wasn't good enough, you know. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I, I, had, I was from the northwest of England, and I think if you didn't do rugby or football, you were kind of a little bit of an outcast. So it was kind of hush-hush to begin with. The race and then I grew in confidence and then I was you know confident enough then to tell people what I wanted to do and um, and that was the start of it really I've got so many people to mention to mention Lydia that I was just I'd be here probably all day but um, started off in Warrington and Terry Caldwell's yard who's no longer with us and um, him and his sons were very good to me and then I literally went to Malcolm Jefferson's who I owe so much to wanted to be a jump jockey for some crazy reason um, but him and his family took me in 
and looked after me well. And then I went on to Richard Fahey's. Yeah. Which is why it is so appropriate that you should have your last ride for Richard Fahey. It's an association that is one of the most enduring in the entire sport. Did, did you particularly want to end your career both here at York and for Richard? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I, um, we had a chat and um, both had a bit of a moment really and, and uh, just says how, how fantastic it would be to, to, to finish at York for the both, for, for me. And um, he says it would be a, a great honour to give me my last ride and it, it meant a lot. And how much will you miss York? I associate you so much with, with this track. I'm interviewing you a couple of times after Font Hill Road, the Air Gold Cup winner has won here, one of your favourites. Yeah, Font Hill Road. I mean, the, the memories that just come flooding back. Um, beautiful horse, beautiful owners. Just uh, some great days. And I'm, I'm really going to look forward to Friday, actually. It's my, I'm in the first race. Um, Wharton Sun for lovely owners as well who've supported me through my career. I've got owners coming up to the box and friends and family, so it would just be fairy tale if I could go out on a winner. Uh, it's a good race, but uh, he's got a good chance. Yeah, this is Wooten Sun, and absolutely, I'm sure everyone will be rooting for him and for you. And looking forward to Friday as you are with mixed feelings. Really pleased that you've made a decision that you seem to be very clearly at peace with, um, but we're also going to miss you, Paul. I right, thank you very much for over the years and to the viewers, you know, it's, it's gone a long way. I know probably jockeys don't say it as, as often, but we wouldn't be in this sport without you. So um, very grateful for all the support over the years. Paul, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.